All right, this is a quick talk. Um, basically, if, if you go to WayneWard.co.uk, um, do a search for SSH on BQ Ubuntu Touch Phone, or it'll work for the Nexus 7 as well. Then it'll give you like a kind of a guideline of, of the commands to run, um, which is pretty straightforward. But um, one thing I did remember was um, before you actually do this, you need a key on on, on your laptop. So if I do um, SSH um, keygen and then type um, RSA and then a capital C it's hard because I'm holding the camera at the same time and then I just put my email address in or, or, or your email address what do I use UK press enter Press enter again, press enter again, press enter again. There you go. Now that's just created a key. Um, now if you didn't do that, uh, it wouldn't be able to like export the key because there is no key there. So before we get going, let's have a little look here. Um, we've got we've got to have oh god on about. Right, let's have a look here. Right, that is now unlocked. So now we can see that's that has to be unlocked, otherwise we can't ADB into this to do this. So there you go, that's unlocked. I've, I've created a key which is SSH keygen uh, type RSA capital hyphen capital C to create with your email address and just press enter to everything and that's got the key there now. So back to my website. Uh, so I run I'll copy and paste this first command. Did that. Uh, I don't know if I've got developer mode. Yeah, I have developer mode enabled on the phone. So let's just see if I'm missing anything. Ah, there we are. So it's basically saying I haven't got Android tools. So that's that simple. It, tell, it even tells you how to install it. This is a brand new, brand new install. I've just basically installed installed Bully Werewolf on it this morning. Um, sorry, I laugh every time I say it because I find it kind of a funny name. But um, if I just do what it says, um, okay, let it do what it does, right, now run that command again, and there you go, so it, the demon's running um, what, it, what it wants, SSH is enabled, so if I go back, do this, and all I'm going to do now is I'm just going to copy and paste every one of these commands in. Uh, file already exists. Uh, I've already had SH keys on, on it before. <laughs> but as I say, I've just zapped this. So this is why I'm going to run it again. This will just basically overwrite the keys that I already had there before. I can do this on the Nexus 7 as well. Um, yeah. Do that again. Let's just do that right. Yep. Yeah. And then I'll get the next one, which is, oh, hang about. Okay, I'll get all that lot. Sorry, I didn't, I didn't copy the whole lot. I've got to copy all that lot. That's done. That just copied, then you can see, copied it. Then get the next lot. I'll have to just change that so that it shows as one line. That is basically one line. Um, let's go. Back to here, copy the next line in, that worked, and then I've got to change the permissions on that file, which it just did, and then change the permissions on, on this lot here, oh, come here, it's not letting me do it, there we go, copy that across. And there you go. So now, um, if I there's a couple of ways of testing it. Um, I can I can do this. This saves you doing it. You can do an uh, IF config on the phone from a terminal, and it'll give you the IP address. But this just tells me that um, it is 106, 161 is my IP address. So if I do SSH 
Fablet is the username at 192.168.1.161 like it says ask me if the key's correct bang I'm in so I can basically pull that cable out now no matter where my phone is in the house, it can be upstairs, whatever, I can transfer stuff into it, I can mount the drive, I can see the drives, um, you know, and I can do that with my Nexus 7 as well, it's really handy for moving stuff around, um, but that was a quick tour, as I say, just just um, look at waynewood.co.uk and that will give you the commands, and just follow the commands, it's dead straightforward. The, the video just is more of an insight and just helps you out in case you, you're struggling. Good luck.